My name is Billy Willis. I am the Senior Systems Engineer for NVT Group Limited. And so if there's a problem with the server or a problem with any of the software that they can't solve, it will come to me and then I'll come up with a solution. Very difficult on occasions. Sometimes you're flying by the seat of your pants. Other times you'll have seen the situation before and been in the situation before. I think the job really dictates that you keep your head when all around you are running around mad, asking questions about why the system's not up, when it will be brought back. Quite a difficult job, really. I had another job with uh, a company called Travel Tech, and um, I was unhappy there, so I applied uh, directly to the company, having targeted them um, from a number of companies, and just battered it and them into submission until I got a job here. School for me was um, something I attended. I didn't enjoy it. I was um, good at sport, and um, I played football for Northern Ireland schoolboys, and. Uh, all I wanted to do all day obviously was play football, so I had no interest in uh, anything academic. Um, unfortunately that didn't work out the way I wanted to, as my parents didn't wish to allow me to leave home and come to England uh, to play football. Um, so I went into a career which was in electrical work, an apprentice electrician for Balfour Kilpatrick. I did initially enjoy it, um, but the monotony of constantly wiring houses and being out in cold building sites didn't appeal to me that much. Like everybody does, um, I've seen a, an advertisement on the television. There was plenty of physical activity, sport, travel, um, so I joined the Royal Marines. I joined up at 16 years old as a junior Marine. Um, I worked my way through um, the ranks to the dizzy heights of W02, which is a Sergeant Major. Um, I stayed for 25 years. I served in uh, most major conflicts during that time, and I had a, a great and successful career. But unfortunately, um, when you reach a certain age within uh, the Royal Marines, which is part of the Royal Navy, uh, you retired and are forced to retire. And I was extended by an extra three years and retired at the age of 43. I walked out the, the gate, like everybody does, with every intention of becoming a bus driver or something along those lines. Um, having been at a high level of management and uh, within the Royal Marines, I thought, well, I'll take a job that um, isn't going to stress me out, isn't going to provide long working hours and got a job within the travel industry, um, fixing their computers. It took me from Orkney to Enniskillen to Jersey to London. Again, a life on the road, um, which didn't particularly suit my family. Uh, long hours. Uh, work within IT inherently is long hours. Uh, don't think you're going to work from nine till five. Com computers don't necessarily break between the hours of nine and five. So. I then come into the um, IT world and it opened up a whole, a whole hiatus of, of problems where I didn't have qualifications but had the knowledge. So I had to go and start off with um, Windows NT, move through to Windows 2000, Windows 2003, Windows 2008. You have to keep reinventing yourself within IT. If you don't, you will wither and die. You need to keep pushing. It's uh, not a job where you can say, okay, like a solicitor, for instance, you can qualify and that's it. You, you know, you've got your qualifications and whatever you learn yourself is basically what you know. This is a series of exams which will continue probably for the rest of my life until I decide to retire. And when I joined the Marines, that was the turning point. Absolutely. A tremendous career for anyone. Um, opportunities um, abound. The, the only person that can limit you is you within the Royal Marines. Um, you will be given every opportunity to shine. You'll be put under stress. You will be um, tested fully. Um, you learn a lot about yourself. It's very important that you pick a job that you like because you're a long time in it. You're a long time in it. It needs to be interesting. It needs to flow. It needs to have a future. 